What prompted you to try comedy and work with Red Fox? I mean, what really prompted you? Other than, I know you said that the bebop music killed the dance and so forth, but what made you think that you could do comedy? Well, I was doing comedy with the jazz man. You did, okay, you, you did see, comedy I did, with I Cab Calloway. I did a monologue. But to go and work with Red Fox. Well, I had an opportunity because you said your legs are getting, your, a dancer's legs go for but you better learn how to talk. And uh, he said, and he gave me a chance to, to, MC, to work and go on the stage and MC the act, but he forgot he also hired two other MCs. That was Harold Nichols and, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, poor, poor Red Fox, poor him, trying to get a job with Red Fox, we want to shoot him. But, but his rhythm is different than Cab Calloway oh, yeah. or, you know, he had his own oh, yeah. rhythm and was that a challenge for you? No, because you're looking at a place where, uh, what I did was, I'm working with a lot of comedians and of course they, they, they're they putting me down, I mean, you know, I ain't nobody because I'm an ex-dancer. But so instead of answering them, I used to go in back of the club and write down what I would say to them, which became, <laughs> I began writing material. Oh, I see. And I would answer them. I wouldn't answer them, but I would answer it with the pen and paper and, and call them all kinds of dumb, you dumb, but I could say it in writing. But it began to be a way of writing. And I know nobody's going to give me material. I used to sit there and I got all of Bill Cosby's records. I got all of Dick Gregory's records. I used to know all of the Slappy Whites and Red Fox's routines and things, and I was able to take my situation and build it into, for me to stand on the stage for 20 minutes. How do you stand on the stage for 20 minutes and talk? Yes. And like Red said, you write a comedy line today, you write a comedy line tomorrow, at the end of seven days you've got seven lines, and the third day you've got 30 lines, and then you could use, you don't have to steal my act, you write your own act and it's sort of like So that. he was encouraging oh, you yeah. and he was teaching you. No, he wouldn't teach nobody, nothing. He wouldn't but teach, but he, he gave did you, give advice. He gave advice. you an idea of what it meant to be able to stand on the stage and struggle because any, any comedian is going to struggle. It's not comfortable at the beginning. It begins to be comfortable when they know you. But you've got to be able to take your situation. I, for instance, I... I said, listen, I'm healthy, sexless, and single. And I used that phrase. It became a recording. I made a, a record of it. But why am I single? Because none of you suckers never ask me. And you ask me everything else, and it goes on from one line to I the other. I see. And that developed into From a female's it. perspective. Right. I see. You know? So now I find that uh, the man behind you keeps stealing my lines. So I've got <laughs> to keep coming up with some new ones. <laughs> <laughs> but by this time, you, you, your group, you had disbanded your group, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But Couldn't wait. get any jobs. Okay, okay. 